Hey folks, so we're going to upload photos from the photo app to Shutterfly. We're on a Mac here, so you see the app will open the top left corner. First thing we'll want to do is create a new folder on the desktop. So hold down the control button and click, and you'll see this prompt for new folder. Put it on there, you can click on the title of the folder, uh, and that'll prompt you to change the name of the folder once it turns blue like that. So we'll name it something we can find later. You'll want to open up the Photos app, and from here you've got your pictures. You click on one of them, and then you can hold down Shift and Control, or Command, sorry, Shift and Command, and select all those pictures. And once you've done that, go up to the File and Export button up there, and you'll not want to change any of those settings, but then you'll want to hit Next, and that'll open up the prompt of where you want to save those pictures. So let's go ahead and save them to that Pictures folder we created on the desktop. So We'll go ahead and once that starts going, uh, you can close down iPhoto or Photos and go back to the desktop from here. Now once we've got all those pictures exporting into the folder, you can return to Shutterfly and upload those pictures just like you would uh, for any other user. So you'll want to log in and get them to go to My Pictures. Um, and once you click on that, uh, you'll go up to that upload button up in the top left corner. Click on that. And then from here, you'll choose your files. And we'll want to choose the files that we just put into that folder on the desktop. So navigate yourself to that folder. Um, we've titled it Pictures here. Um, and when you go to click on the pictures, you can use the function Command and A and that will select all the pictures that you've currently put into that folder. Uh, see here, got it here on the desktop. Command and A. And then you'll just hit the open button, choose file, or you'll hit and select the album that you want to put them in. Title a new one if you want to hit the start button and those will start uh, uploading to Shutterfly. Now once we've gone ahead and started this upload uh, and those folder, or those files have been uploaded, um, those pictures that were originally in, in photos will stay there. The ones we've created on the desktop are just going to be copies. So once they've completely uploaded, you can have the customer delete that folder on the desktop and then repeat the process if they want to upload a new album or anything of that nature. I hope that's been helpful for you, and thank you for listening.